Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day here in northwestern Minnesota. It's supposed to be about 85 degrees here, May 1st, and uh, that's pretty rare. But today we've got a little project where we're going to work on this wrought iron furniture that we um, we actually got this from some friends about 11, 12 years ago, and it's been traveling with us ever since. It's a beautiful set, uh, four chairs and a table. On the feet of the furniture, all of them, the plastic cups have been wearing out, and that can be a problem. Hey there, puppy dog. How you doing? That's Tori, by the way. So these things wear out on the bottom. I'll get an upside down picture of these chairs. But, um, and then when they slide around, obviously they'll have an opportunity to scratch the decking, which we do not want. So I'll have to go ahead and uh, replace all of these cups. There are a few good ones left, but um, we'll get started. So as you can see on the bottom of the chair, I've got one decent cup in place yet down there. And down here we've got a broken out one empty and broken out so the cups are fairly readily available right online you just have to make sure you get the correct diameter I believe mine were an inch and a half I'm planning on using the uh, screwdriver here to take the old pieces out and then just mallet them in with uh, with rubber mallet we'll see how this goes so as a professional homeowner I'm keenly aware that things rarely go the way that you envision them and in this case if you do not hit the cup exactly in the center to get it started there isn't enough taper on these they'll go crooked and then your next hit with the mallet will make it go like this and put a good gouge in the side of the cup and we can't have that so what I did is I went into the shop and I just put a little bit more of a taper on them with the disc sander. So let's take a look and see if this will provide a better a better fit. Another thing I learned is put the chair upside down on a firm, solid footing, um, preferably not the deck. I found that uh, sliding the wrought iron around on the deck could leave some scratches. Nope, same thing happened there. Same story. So I'll take these back into the disc sander, take a little bit more off. I'm finding that it's important that you leave these tabs on because that's what's going to give your grip inside the wrought iron disc. And then you can use the cup friction to hold it in place. So I'm going to taper these down a little bit. <laughs> Let's take a look and see if we've got enough off here. Oh, I think that's much better. Yes, perfect.
That looks pretty good. Those fit in really nice. The main key is to get them fit so they're going straight in to the cup. That plastic disc has to be aligned to go straight in. Any crookedness and you'll end up with this type of a any crookedness and you end up with this type of a situation. But I'm finding that you can sand this down too and it will still work. This one's my worst one. I don't know, I might just throw this one away. But two more chairs to go and the table. Got those four put in there. It's coming out pretty decent. One thing I want to make sure that um, gets mentioned or pointed out is that if you're taking these to the disc sander, just make sure that you're only tapering the very, very beginning part. Don't mess around with these knobs or that's going to screw up the friction point within the steel. So you just want to make it so you can get those things snapped in. And you could see that I had a couple that um, gave me troubles. And I'm just, I'm sure the tolerance on these, um, these cast feet aren't the greatest. So um, these plastic, obviously, are much more malleable. So just modifying them to fit um, is really the ticket. And you could do this on a belt sander. You could do it on a disc sander. You could do it with a file. It's gonna take you a lot longer with a file, but it'll work. So there we have the finished product. We've got the four in on the table and on the chairs. And you can see, let's see if I can get a view in a little bit on how they sit on the deck. You can see that white portion of it is just, just riding and gliding really nice. They make them slide a lot better. It's quite an improvement. Um, so we're not scratching up the deck. That's the main thing. Um, there you have it, another project finished on this beautiful day. So I'll get this table set back up on the deck, but appreciate you watching. If you like these videos, go ahead and give a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe. Sure would appreciate it, and we will see you all on the next one.